All right, so we've got the salmon, Atlantic salmon katsu in here. We've got some of this crispy salmon skin that we did in the toaster oven. We've got some frizzled basil leaves, uh, Thai basil, and we have some slivered scallion uh, on nori here with our bamboo mat. And we're going to make a salmon skin and katsu roll, crispy katsu roll. All right, setting up for the Asian kitchen, it is important to have mise en place. We picked up some Atlantic salmon here today from Market 32, Price Chopper Market 32. We're gonna make a dish today called katsu, or katsu retsu in Japanese is the actual full name. And all it means is cutlet. It's a very easy dish to make. We're going to make our own five spice powder again. We've got two and a half uh, uh, star anise. We've got uh, some Szechuan peppercorns and we have a little piece of cinnamon stick, about a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and three cloves. That's going to go into our coffee spice grinder, and we're going to, again, make a five spice powder. What are we going to do with that five spice powder? We're going to cook some more baby bok choy. We're going to take the end off, split these, and get them in that bowl in the back there in some water with some kosher salt and let that soak for about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes, just to remove any dirt and debris. We're gonna cook some the rest of this sushi rice here because our katsu, our breaded pork cutlet with panko that's going to be dredged in an egg wash, a flour. We're gonna have uh, this set up a breading station here. We're going to have uh, seasoned flour and then into egg wash and then into panko breadcrumbs. And that's going to be fried, deep fried. And I'm gonna show you how to take the skin off the salmon and you can save that to do salmon skin for your own, uh, to serve with uh, some cold sushi rice and make your own sushi at home. We have toasted nori here so we can do that and we have wasabi. We've got some shiitake mushrooms, we've got some fresh ginger and garlic and we're going to make our own ginger garlic paste we've got some thai basil that we're going to use and we've got japanese eggplant here so and we've got all of our different seasonings and uh most of these sauces we're only going to be using a maybe maybe just a few drops in each sauce if you wanted to make a quick sauce to go for uh for the Salmon katsu, you could take, here we have uh, roughly two tablespoons of sugar. To that, you could add uh, some hoisin sauce, some oyster sauce, uh, some soy sauce or teriyaki. And here we have a combination of soy and teriyaki uh, into here with a little bit of black vinegar, and maybe a few drops of sushi rice wine vinegar and marin and a little bit of cornstarch and whisk that together with some chopsticks or a fork and you would have a nice sauce to dip for your salmon katsu. All right, let's get started. The Japanese rice has to be soaked in several changes of water and what you wanna do is you wanna rub the rice and then we're gonna get it on into this pot with some fresh water and when it's done, we're going to spread it out and fan it, and we're going to take some of this seasoned rice vinegar, sprinkle it over it, and let it cool down, and that's going to be our Japanese rice. When the water is clear, you can measure the amount of water that you want over the rice and just dump it right into the pot. And we'll get all those little pieces out. All right, so here's how we finish off our Japanese rice. We're gonna sprinkle a little seasoned rice wine vinegar, and then we can use our paddle, fan that 
will continue to fan it. But while it's hot, I want to get some Fieri Kake on there, some Japanese rice seasoning. That has the bonito, the toasted nori, white and black sesame seed in there. And that's beautiful. So there's your Japanese rice as that cools down. We're going to take it off the oven because we have the oven on 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to get our eggplant sliced and in the oven. Okay, we have our rice done here uh, with our friere kaki on here. This is our sushi rice that's going to be served with the uh, salmon katsu. We have our sauce for the kamen satsu. Uh, made and we're chopping up or doing some half moons of Japanese eggplant and we're gonna get them with some sesame oil and our five spice powder that we made and a little Himalaya pink Himalaya salt and uh, get them into the oven on the sheet pan back there and uh, 375 and let them crisp up we've got our vegetables sliced here for our uh, baby bok choy which is soaking and we're gonna squeeze that out and get that in the wok with a uh, little ginger garlic paste and uh, a little bit of salt and white pepper all right we're going right along here okay here is our eggplant all in the bowl here we've got our homemade five spice powder I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there we're gonna save just a little bit of that we put some ground ginger in there some white pepper and some pink Himalaya salt that's already into there now what we're going to do is we're gonna get this tossed up all right and tossed up and season. Spread that out onto the pan. And pop that in the oven at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right, it's time our salmon has been at room temperature. Our Atlantic salmon and we've got our bread station ready to go we've got our tempura seasoned flour we've got our egg wash and our panko breadcrumbs we're going to baby's home we've got our sauce made here we've got our vegetables ready to go for when we squeeze out our bok choy and rinse that off we've got our rice ready to go and our Japanese eggplant is already in the oven and seasoned as we showed you so let's do the salmon now. We're gonna make two cutlets, two fillets out of this salmon for our katsu. All right, here we go. We're going to uh, make two fillets. First, we're gonna do with this Atlantic salmon. There's no pin bones in here. We're going to take off the skin. So using our sashimi knife, we're just gonna take off a little bit here. We're gonna come backwards and we're going to slide holding the skin here and we're going to take this fillet right off now this is all right so we're going to get our other katsu salmon cutlet nice and toasty here or should i say coat it with our panko breadcrumbs now the flour is already seasoned Alexa, stop timer. That means our eggplant is ready. Our egg wash is seasoned with white pepper and pink Himalaya salt. And our breadcrumbs, our panko, is not. So we're going to let these sit up. We'll add a little bit more panko on there, pat that on for our katsu. And that is how you prepare the cutlets, the fillets, for frying in oil to make... Japanese salmon katsu. We're gonna clean this up and get the eggplant out. Okay, you're going to want to make sure that your oil 
is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. There's our wonderful roasted in the oven Japanese eggplant with five spice powder, sesame oil, and extra virgin olive oil. We squeezed out our and rinsed off our baby bok choy that was soaking in kosher salted water. And uh, we have all the vegetables. We have some nice julienne ginger, some garlic slices, and striped shiitake mushroom. We have some uh, scallions over here. And we have some celery, sweet bell pepper, and onion. Over here I have a slurry. This is a yuzu panzu. A little bit of uh, plum sauce. A little bit of water, about a teaspoon of water in there, some cornstarch, and some fish sauce. We're going to make some more frizzled Thai basil, and we're going to keep a little bit of this five spice powder that we made to season the bok choy with some pink Himalaya salt and white pepper. All right, let's check our oil and see how hot it is. Hmm. I want it to be around 350. The needle is not moving fast enough, so we're going to wait a couple minutes. You can see they came out nice and beautiful. We hit them with a little pink Himalaya salt, Himalaya salt, and uh, because we did the panko breadcrumbs were actually not seasoned. So let's get our Thai basil into this hot oil. All right, it moves back a little bit. There's our Thai basil. We're gonna get that nice and frizzled and put that on some absorbent paper towel. And hit that lightly with a little bit of pink Himalaya salt. All right, we have our Japanese eggplant, our salmon filet katsu, our frizzled basil. We're getting a little bit of uh, Cajun Mare Fly, <laughs> a little fusion cookie. We're going to uh, get that saute there. And then we're going to add the slivered ginger to that because we want to get the ginger nice and caramelized, a little toasty. If we put the garlic in right now, what would happen is the garlic would burn. But by doing this, what we have is the ginger can release its flavor and get nice and toasty. Now you can see I'm not using a lot of liquid here. Just stir frying the onion, celery, and sweet bell pepper with ginger and this ginger. ginger okay so you can see that's already now what you can do is add all these vegetables and and the garlic and we're going to season them with that little bit of extra five spice powder. Okay. At that point, you can have a little bit of oil. Okay, so at this point, what you want to do is add your slurry. Put nice blade in there and then add your bok choy. And then begin to cross the bok choy until it's nice and wilted down. You don't want to overcook the bok choy. When your bok choy is cooked down like that, then add your Japanese bacon. We'll give it a toss. And there you have it. 
That is your baby box right and Japanese eggplant. Look, it's not soupy. And if you move it to the edge, all the water, all the liquid will evaporate on that high heat. Salmon katsu, fizzle basil, and our Japanese eggplant baby bok choy with vegetables. All right, and here is our salmon katsu with our sushi rice with forukake the toasted nori, bonito, and sesame seeds, and our baby bok choy and Japanese eggplant. And you can see you just slice it, slice the katsu with a sashimi knife or a sharp knife. And if you want more of the baby bok choy and Japanese eggplant, go right ahead. We've got some nice condiments here to serve with it. And this is the sauce that goes over the salmon. We have some more frizzled basil and uh, here's Babe's dish. Here's my dish. Babe, it's time to eat! From Taste of Schenectady and Beyond Magazine. Salmon katsu with sushi rice and baby bok choy and Japanese eggplant. All right, it is time to eat. There's our sauce on our katsu. Mmm. I already took a bite. Mmm. <laughs> Can I eat it now? Mm-hmm. took a picture of it. I already did, babe. Enjoy it. The sauce. It's good without the sauce. Mmm. But I like it with it. Try the sauce on there, babe. You didn't put any sauce on it. This is really good. This sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, I gotta put some of this hot chili sauce on my rice or my bok choy and Japanese eggplant. More frizzled basil. Mmm. Mm. And the rice. That salmon is really good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I like that, isn't it? You try... the fish eater. Well, you still haven't put the sauce on. Try this. Some of that. I just done a little piece. Try Oops. some of that sauce. It's not spicy. It's got plum sauce in it, and it has hoisin sauce and fish sauce, a little bit of water and sesame seeds, toasted black and white sesame seeds. It's great for the salmon. That was perfect timing in the toaster oven on the salmon skin. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Mm-hmm. I saved a little bit of the sushi rice, so this salmon skin as you can see, it's still hot, but you can see that that's nice and crispy. Yummy. And uh, we can get, uh, we got some toasted nori here. We can slice this and make a crispy salmon roll. We've got some wasabi. And um, slice this up and make a nice uh, roll and slice that into eight slices. There you have it, folks. Salmon skin. And there's our sushi rice. What I forget, a kake. Beautiful. All right, so we've got the salmon, Atlantic salmon katsu in here. We've got some of this crispy salmon skin that we did in the toaster oven. We've got some frizzled basil leaves, uh, Thai basil, and we have some sliver scallion uh, on nori here with our bamboo mat, and we're going to make a salmon skin and katsu roll, crispy katsu roll. 
Now what you want to make sure you do is keep a damp rag nearby once you make your roll here. We're going to slice it in the middle and then we're going to slice each, each half into uh, pieces to get eight pizzas. Well, this has been quite the little Japanese day of playing here at Taste of Schenectady and having a great dinner. We had our katsu, Atlantic salmon katsu there, and uh, rice with furikake, the toasted nori, and bonito flake with toasted sesame seeds topped on there with some frizzled basil. And we had the, the, we took the skin off the salmon, so we made in our toaster oven, we made some uh, salmon skin, crispy salmon skin, as you can see there. And uh, we showed you how to make a sushi roll with the katsu, salmon katsu, and the crispy uh, salmon skin, as well as inside there is some of that frizzled basil and scallion, julienne scallion. There's a little bit of leftover... Uh, sushi rice so we've got our chopsticks we've got our soy sauce we've got our wasabi i could have made that neater more you know nicer but that gives you a, a few different dishes that you can make all from one pound a little bit over a pound of price chopper market 32 atlantic salmon and bok choy there baby bok choy and Japanese eggplant and five homemade five spice powder our homemade sauce for our katsu salmon definitely wanted to use the rest of this salmon skin and show you how you can make your own sushi at home and every sushi house should have this little condiment on the side uh, sashimi togarashi perfect as well as the furikake for people to be able to garnish their sushi rolls and their Japanese cuisine. We're doing fusion here, but mostly we did Japanese tonight. And there you have it, folks. Taste of Schenectady and beyond. Well, you know, one of the things about sushi is you don't really have to use chopsticks. Babe's uh, out of the kitchen now, but I'm going to take a little bit of wasabi because I like it spicy. I'm going to dip that in my soy sauce. Mm. Listen to that crunch. I'm telling you, absolutely delicious. Now, one of the ways that I like to do my soy sauce is to take and to whisk, whisk the wasabi right in the soy sauce there. Get that a little bit spicy. Then take your sushi, dip that. Dip that in the sauce. Mm.